Hey everyone, in this FIFA 23 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play Premier League. So this you need to go into play modes. So down on the root menu, move your left stick over to there and press select. So A is the select button for me on the Xbox, might be X for you on the PlayStation. If you look down the bottom left hand side, it will tell you. So we jump into play modes and then there are two places you can play Premier League. They are shown in the quick play modes. So jump into there and then you have kickoff or tournaments, depending on whether you just want to do a one off uh, Premier League game or if you want to play the entire Premier League season. So if we jump to kick off first we'll have a little look at that one and this is to do a single game. So once you're in here select whether you want to play the home side or the away side by moving the left stick either left or right and then when you're here just hit ready um, and then ready again and you'll jump into this area here uh, where you've got classic match and this is where we can do a single Premier League game. So we jump into here uh, and you can see it's defaulting to men's team. We want England and down the bottom you need to make sure that Premier League is picked. So I'm using my left stick to move up and down. When we're in the Premier League we can pick any team that we like. So let's go for example for Liverpool who's my favourite Premier League team. And when you're ready with that side you press A to select and then on the other side again make sure things are all picked the same uh, and pick whatever team you want to go against. So let's go with Manchester City for example. When you do that and press select again you can either be the home or away uh, colors here so I'm just using the left stick to flick between them and you can do the same with the other team here if you find it's too much of a clash between them you can pick whatever kit you want press select again and then you're ready to play the match now you may want to check that you've got it on the uh, level of difficulty that you like so if you jump into game settings uh, you may want to check this here the half length as well I'm just going to back out of there there's all sorts of settings that you can do you can manage your teams here change your controller settings but if you just want to play the match, you just press play match and away you go. So that's that way. If you want to play the entire season, let's jump into that way and show you how that works. So I'm going to back all the way out back to the root menu and we'll do the same thing. But this time we'll simulate a season with the tournaments mode. So we'll go back all the way here. And again, you want to go to play modes. So when you jump into play modes, um, you've got quick play modes again. We're going to do that even though it's not a particularly quick play mode. Um, and we've got tournaments is the one that we want here. So we jump into tournaments. You can either load a tournament or look at domestic tournaments. So if you've done a tournament already, that may show as the default or it may show this one. Either way, if it's hidden here, just move up with your left stick. So press domestic tournaments and you can see we've got women's leagues, men's leagues and men's cups. And of course, we want to play the Premier League. So that's in men's leagues. So we jump into there um, when we are here you can see all of the different leagues and there indeed is the Premier League. So that's the one that we want to do. So we select that one and things are a little bit different here. You can choose to just uh, play as one team if you want such as Liverpool. So if I select that one I'm using the left stick up and down and then A to select if it's a different one. Um, you should see a little, little different button as you move up and down. You can play as multiple teams if you want. So if you want to play as other teams, you can just select them here. And then as you go through the season, you will control those teams. That's entirely up to you. But personally, I like playing as just one team. When you're ready to move to the next stage, you just hit the menu button or whatever it shows is done down the bottom of the screen. So when we jump into the next thing here, uh, it will then create this little tournament for us. It'll ask us to create a um, save file. These are some other ones I did in tests. But you can see we've just got one going here. Give it a name. You can clear all of that with the right stick button or whatever it shows is clear down the bottom. Um, but I'll just do PL, just as very exciting thing. Done. And it will create a save file. So the cool thing with that is if you want to do multiple uh, different leagues or tournaments, you can have them all saved and jump into them whenever you want. So now we're in the main area for the, playing the Premier League and you can play the match, uh, see the player stats, the standings, etc. And the format is slightly different to what we saw before. If you look on the left hand side, we have central squad and customized just up towards the top left. And I can flick between these with LB and RB on the Xbox or L1, R1 on the PlayStation. Um, so you can see your squad here. You can change what your squad um, is looking like. So with team management and team sheets here. So if I jump into team management, I could change things like who's in the main squad here. And up the top again, I can flick between these with LB, RB or L1, R1 on the PlayStation. You can also get quite deep with these. I'll be adding more tutorials on these in coming days slash weeks. Um, but just to show you, that's where you can add and adjust things about the team. So you don't have to play with whatever you've got there. Uh, when you're done with it, you hit B to go back. Do you want to save the changes? yes or no that's up to you if you want to save them 
we can do. And then once you're here on this major main page, if you go back to central, this is where you then start the season. So we can either play the match, we can see the standings in the league here. So we've played no games, of course. On the right-hand side, if my uh, camera wasn't in the way, you could see uh, what's going on with up, uh, upcoming fixtures. You can see the player stats and the news, excuse me. <clears throat> so when we play the match, um, again, like we saw on the other one here, we've got these different options. So you can manage the team here, you can customize, or we can just go ahead and play the match. So let's do that. So you can see Liverpool's away on this first one. Um, the new Premier League season only moments away, but which team will stamp their authority today? We will soon find out. So what's quite nice, you get a nice little intro sequence showing some cool little scenes and stuff. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next. And of course, you can skip that by holding A or whatever your select button is if you want. So that'll then jump into the main game here that we see. So we're now in the stadium getting all ready and the commentators Hello will kick in. Welcome to the Etihad Stadium. My name's Derek Ray. I'm delighted to have alongside me. Again, we can skip it by pressing A. And, it is a day of and then the run in and start the playing the game. Always something to look forward to. It is Manchester and I won't bore you with that because that's it. That's how you play Premier League in FIFA 23. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, give us a big fat thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments are very welcome. If there's any other things that you're struggling with FIFA 23, hit me up with a comment and I'll do my best to help in coming days slash weeks. I've got loads of uh, tutorials that I've got planned for it based on the previous ones that I've done for FIFA 22, FIFA 21. Uh, but if there's anything that I'm missing or you want to see, do let me know. Also, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to support me with my channel. Be kept up to date with my latest and greatest. I'm always publishing new videos. I'd love your support. Thanks so much.